Hey, welcome to the Original Brew Collective Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ben. And I'm Robert. And on these episodes, we review different beers from different breweries. And while we do that, we discuss a variety of topics. Today, we're drinking a beer from Urban Roots Brewing in Sacramento, California. So, Robert, could you tell us a little bit more about the beer we're drinking today? And while you do that, can you do it in your best drunk impression? You want me to... Yes. Tell us about the brewery and the beer in a drunk impression. Yes. Oh, God. Well, it shouldn't be hard. We've already filmed a couple. <laughs> um, no, uh, okay. This is weird. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> this. Okay, you don't have to yeah, do it. This, I would honestly be bad and annoy everyone. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> like, we already We're <laughs> back again. <laughs> That was pretty good. Thanks. Uh, so, yeah, we're drinking a uh, beer from a brewery called Urban Roots. Um, I feel like they've flown under the radar for a little while. They've been around for over a year. Um, have they been around for a couple years, maybe? Mm-hmm. Dang, yeah, see? That's what, I'm, that's what I mean. Time flies. Yeah. And they've flown under the radar. Um, really good beers from them, honestly. Um, this one, um, supposedly, from what we know, and we'll I guess we'll kind of be the judges of that, is uh, hopefully no exception. Um, I actually did try, so, okay, you know what, here we go. This is Demon Run Vanilla Coconut, and so they brewed this beer. This is their first barrel-aged beer that they released a couple months ago, or a few months ago now. Um, and so they released Demon Run, and then they also bottled, um, this beer as well, and released it at the same event. Um, so Demon Run was just straight Imperial Stout, um, barrel-aged. This is the same beer, but, um, treated with coconut and vanilla. I believe. Let's see. Let's let me just verify that. Actually, no. Inter- okay. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Imperial Stout brewed with honey, aged in bourbon barrels. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but it says also on this bottle, Demon Run Vanilla Coconut Imperial Stout infused with an enor- okay. So it was infused with an enormous amount of flaked coconut and whole vanilla bean, and aged for fifteen months in bourbon barrels. So we're very excited about. Sounds this like. <laughs> I was gonna say something. I was gonna, gonna say, say sounds like this one should be called Angel Run with those flavors. Yeah, you should have said it. <laughs> I did say it. I mean, you should have just said it. Yeah, I mean, it was that. It was bad. But yeah, it was yeah. Like, so bad, it's good. Yeah. You know? I mean, those sound like delicious flavors. Yeah, I'm really excited. So kind of interesting. We've had like a couple of stouts that have honey, and like I haven't really had yeah. that before until the past. What was another one? Ones. Um, it was one of the burial beer. Oh, ones yeah. that we had. I kind of I forget which one we had. It wasn't the Anno Domini one. It was the uh, one before that. I can't remember what uh, that portal one. towards non-existence. Yeah, that one. Like that, that one had yeah. honey in it. Okay, yeah, it was interesting. So so far so good. Yeah, I mean, the honey beers. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna crack this one open. This does have a wax seal on it. It's wax dipped. Um, the label on this one is very hard to see. It's a very very dark dark blue. Um, you're not going to be able to see it. There's no way our camera's going to be able to pick this up. Yeah, because it's like blue on blue. Yeah, it's blue. Same blue on blue. It's like not even, it's not even like really printed. It's a blue label with like, it's a... Em, em, embossed. Embossed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, embossed. So it looks almost like weird interstellar crop circles. Yes. Right? I would agree. That's yeah. what it looks like. So I am going to crack this one open if I can. While he is cracking this open and pouring it out into our tekus that we're going to be drinking from today... I thought I'd share a fun fact with us, a beer fun fact, and um, it has nothing to do with demons, which I was trying to find a beer that had, or a fun fact that had to do with that, but I just couldn't find one. But I thought this one was interesting. So Viking culture, they believe um, in Valhalla, which is their heaven, but apparently not all Vikings get to Valhalla. But for the Vikings that do get to Valhalla... (laughs) Are you laughing because what just happened to me? No. The bottle cap just... Fell into my beer. No, it didn't. It did. You get it out with a bottle opener. I get it out with my mouth when I drink this beer. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. Um, oh my gosh. Um, so if they made it to Valhalla, if the Vikings made it to Valhalla, they were gifted in beer. What a great gift. Wow. So congrats like to all you Vikings that I made like it. I like to think like in heaven we'll get maybe something. Yeah. Like beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope. One can only hope and dream. Mm-hmm. This smells so good. You can already smell it. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, you know, I know they, you know, coconut and vanilla, but I'm getting hit in the face with just the bourbon. Yeah. The barrels, like, holy smokes. Like, this smells like we're about to sip on a nice glass of bourbon. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I know we normally 
Oh, whoa. Okay, this smells... <laughs> I'm so excited. So I, I uh, got a little too antsy, and I took a, a sniff. Well, a let's talk about early. the color. Let's talk quick. about the appearance. It, I mean, it's very dark. I wouldn't say it's... I mean, this is, I would almost say it's pitch black. Really? Okay. It's really black. It is. I think maybe the lights are... I think it's with the, the, the light setup we have in here, um, in combination with the amount that we have in the glass. Um, when we swirl around, it almost looks like it could be slightly, like... You know how that cola has like a cherry yeah. brownish tone to it, but I think that really this is pretty damn black. It's yeah, just like it's really coating right the now. glass really nice. Oh yeah, of the head and it's like a dark tan head, and you can see it more on Roberts than you can on mine. But it looks very quality and looks really good. Let's smell it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this smells like bourbon, like coconut bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I smell. A lot of bourbon. Yeah. I mean, 15 months in those barrels. How long have you had this one? Uh, a couple months. A few months. Okay, so the fir very first smell that I had was a lot of bourbon, but I'm getting more of the flavor. I think it was just kind of like a quick sniff that I did. Uh, when you're sniffing your beer, fun fact, uh, there's different techniques to doing it. You can, uh, uh, mm. I've, I've, you can wisp it by your nose. I, we don't do this in every episode, if we've ever even done it on any episodes. And then you stick your nose in, and you can take a deep whiff, and then you could uh, exhale and everything, um, and then stick it back up to the glass, back up to your nose, and do like five little inhale through your nose puffs, like to try to like really capture all the flavors hmm. um, or notes. We don't do that on every episode. No. At all. I'm getting... We just smell it. But those <laughs> are actually nosing. some techniques. That's cool. Yeah, I get a lot of bourbon. I'm getting bourbon coconut. Um, yeah. And chocolate. Yeah, I was going to say chocolate. Yeah. Slight, so rich. slight chocolate. Um, what did you say the ABV was on this? I didn't. Thank you for asking, Ben. What is the ABV on 12. it? 12.8. Really? Yeah. I think it smells like it's going to be a... Like, I'm interested. I feel like it might... Because of the bourbon, though. I feel like it... I guess we'll see on the yeah, taste, but I'm the, thinking it might not, the taste might not be as much bourbon as the smell. Hmm. That's, but we'll see. I haven't tried this one. I've only tried uh, Demon Run, um, hmm. the original, really, untreated Demon Run. Dang, I wish I remember. Was in, it was so good. I wish I remember the name of this bourbon that I just had um, a couple weeks ago with, I shared a bottle, actually. We drank the whole entire bottle, myself and my father-in-law. Drank an entire bottle of bourbon? Yes! It was, and uh, my brother-in-law as well, so there's three okay. of us. But it was really, really good. So I'm really kind of, I hadn't drinking bourbon for a while, but yeah. kind of, I'm excited to try this. Let's try it. This is a amazing beer. There's a lot of flavor. Yeah. It's so rich. Heavy mouthfeel. Definitely coats the tongue. Oh my gosh. Just lingering chocolate right now. It's crazy. Like I, my whole tongue, like super far back. I Just will say I'm not getting as much bourbon on the mm. mouth as I was on the nose. No, you get the sweetness from like the vanilla and everything. Yeah. I think uh, we'll see what happens it's when like, it opens up a little bit more. It's, but. it's so weird. Because the beer is, we pulled it out of the fridge, so it's cold, but it's warm. At yeah. the same time. Yeah. Like while you're drinking it. Yeah. Right? This is super good. This is really rich, really good. Like a liquid candy bar. This is amazing. Yeah. You, I mean, I do. I do still taste the bourbon. But definitely not. It's not heavy bourbon. There's those notes of chocolate. Mm. Um, it's not overpowering in the coconut at all. The coconut actually is fairly mild. Mm -hmm. But it's present. Yeah, I like that it's there. Yeah, this is really good. There's a ton of chocolate in this. I don't think they really touched on the chocolate in the description on the bottom. Yeah, I taste a lot of chocolate. A lot of chocolate. This is super good. This is something you'd want after a, a nice dinner for dessert. Mm -hmm. This is a really good beer. Yeah, this is delicious. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dang, Urban Roots, man. Way to go. This Who is so would have known? I mean, I guess I would have known. That's why I went and got a bottle and thought it was going to be good. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I did not try this one. Um, I didn't want to try it while I was there. Obviously, like I've mentioned it before, and I'll say it again, we like to uh, try a beer for the very first time on the podcast. So um, I made myself not try this. But I did, I don't know if you consider it cheating, I did try the base beer, so just the untreated Demon Run. Mm -hmm. And that was an incredibly good barrel-aged, just straight barrel-aged out. Mm -hmm. It was so good.
So this one is amazing as well. This is really good. Um, ben, what's our brewery talk today? You know, we really liked just kind of talking about whatever whatever just comes up. Last week, if you listened, we kind of just uh, talked about whatever the, whatever we wanted. Um, lack of a better term, we, we were just shooting the shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, talking about whatever came to mind. Um, we got actually pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, you should listen things, to it. Yeah, we talked about things that I didn't expect to ever talk about on the podcast. I never thought I'd talk you to you what? about those things. I don't have any regrets. Me neither. No. I feel closer to you now yeah. because of that conversation. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ben went out and bought a boudet. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you have to listen to last That's episode. not true. I didn't if you actually didn't listen to last episode, every day. If you didn't listen to the last episode, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but just go give it a listen. Um, that was a really good beer, last episode from Moonraker Brewing in Auburn. Um, we love them. If you listened before, you probably know that we love them. Um, but today we're drinking Urban Roots. Mm-hmm. So go give Urban Roots a follow. Um, two words, urban roots, um, super good. This yeah. is such a, this is such a good beer. I'm going to be pursuing more of their stouts for sure now. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. And this was, uh, one of the first, uh, barrel aged beers they released. You can just tell that this is well crafted. <laughs> Absolutely. Beer. There is. Yeah. This is really well done. Really good. Um, so do you have any, th- what do you want to talk about? How do you feel about running? Running? Yeah. I don't like running. Neither do I. But I... I you seem like you had no idea why I asked that. Remember oh, demon running? Run? Demon? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like, running? <laughs> Idiot? Let's go off topic. No. That, I mean, it's not like we have a topic. No. Um, I don't I don't really like running. I think it... I like the idea of it, and I know it's healthy <laughs> for you. But... And I, I do it once in a while. But I'm not like an avid runner. Yeah. How do you feel about running? I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah. Actually, I used to really hate it. Um, used to really hate it. I used to run outside and stuff, and I really hated it. And I would run inside. Still hated it. But then I got I, I wised up, and I just downloaded Netflix on my phone, mm-hmm. and would just stream and watch shows on put the phone on yeah. the treadmill. So I just watch stuff. I think um, I actually can get myself to run more when I'm like at a gym. Yeah. Which is weird. I mean, people are like, but if you're outside, I'm like, no. but if I'm at my house, like, I don't want to just like leave and go run. Yeah. You know? So yeah. yeah, I can, it's easier to do it inside for me. But so whenever I think of running, I think about, I used to play soccer, like all throughout, like a little bit into college and stuff. Oh, and I didn't know you were a grass fairy. <laughs> well, that's cute. <laughs> dude, soccer is the number one sport in the world. It's true, but it I'll is. still deny it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I played for this competitive team in my area, and I remember we used to have to run three miles in under twenty minutes every single time we had practice. And if we didn't do it, like we didn't start three the, miles in ten un, minutes. under twenty minutes. Oh, 20, I think it said ten minutes. No, that like do impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, like if we didn't do that, we couldn't start the next game or like. We had to like sit out of a lot of the practice, like if we couldn't do that, because it was like a really competitive team. And I remember, I think it was like my second, because I had moved into the area and tried out and got on the team. Yeah. And then I, I think it was like it was one of my first few practices, and I had eaten spaghettios before. Oh man. And like I wasn't used to having to do that before a practice, and like I threw up. But I didn't want the team to think that I. Like, couldn't do it. Yeah. You know? So, like, I, like, pretty much threw up, like, on the way, like, while I was running and, like, didn't stop and just, and I did it. Nice. Yeah. I've thrown up before while running. Yeah? Yeah, I ate a bunch of Oreos. (laughs) (laughs) So, if you're running, don't eat Oreos or SpaghettiOs. Yeah. Or both together. Yeah. Definitely don't do that one. Don't do that. Um, Yeah, my, I was hanging out at home. I was young and my brother was feeling inspired to run and he, I'd just eaten a bunch of Oreos. He was like, hey, let's go run. I'm like, okay, whatever, cool. Go run with my big brother, and then I just threw up. They were uh oh Oreos. So hmm. right before I threw up, I was like, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> chew to its name. Um, so okay, so based off of the beer, which is called Demon Run, it just made me think of like scary things because I think demons are like kind of scary. What is like a movie that you saw while you were growing up that still to this day? Well, maybe you don't have this, but if you do, like, yeah, do. that really affected you, that, like, you still think about, and it, like, really creeped you out. Do you have... Oh. 
Uh, I wouldn't or, say. Or what, what, like, were you, what were you thinking? I was going to ask. Movies that like stuck with me. Like I was like, yeah, that was freaky. Yeah, freaking. that. Yeah. That's essentially what I was asking. Um, two come to mind. I wasn't allowed to really watch. Uh, I grew up in a very conservative home. As did I. And so I wasn't allowed to watch a whole lot of like scary movies like ever. But if and you go so, to friends' houses. Yeah, and that's exactly where I saw yeah, them. And exactly. so uh in fact this first one I think I saw it on TV when my parents like weren't paying attention to me or something. Um Arachnophobia. And so I don't oh. think it's supposed to be that scary. In that fact, is it lot. kind of supposed to be like <laughs> What? That explains a lot. Aren't you you're scared of spiders? Yeah, I'm scared of spiders. Yeah, that's all I was saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that explains why you're such a whim. <laughs> uh Arachnophobia scared the crap out of me. I had uh, never seen that. Spoiler alert, there's a scene in it where uh, this guy is hanging upside down. They find him hanging upside down in a barn dead. And the baby spiders are just crawling in and out of his like orifices and oh. stuff. Yeah, so that really stuck with me. That's pretty uh, disturbing. That's yeah. a disturbing image. As a child. How old were you? No, I was young. I mean, arachnophobia is really old. So maybe I was like, I don't know. Six, oh, maybe. Oh, whoa. Something like that. That's young Yeah, to see images like that. Yeah. Was, I mean, I think, thinking back on it, it might have been, like, kind of supposed to be, like, dumb, scary, you know? Yeah, but you don't know that, you don't know that when you're no. that young. And then also, I was probably, like, 11 years old, maybe, or something, when I first, uh, when I saw Jeepers Creepers. Oh. And that scared me. So that is a scary movie. Yes, that's... Scary. I've never seen it, but I know Justin Long is in it, and he's usually in funny movies. So I've like yeah, never... he wasn't funny in this one, man. No? No. I, mean, oh, I don't man. remember anything being funny about it at all. Oh, dang. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but... Oh, it messed me up. Oh, man. Messed, messed 11-year-old Robert up. That's funny. Yeah. Um, so I don't even, like, remember necessarily what happened in this movie but i just know that it freaked me out so i was how old was i i must have been like 12 12 or 13 but i was at a one of my i had i was at a halloween i think i was 14 but i was at a halloween party and we were in my friend's basement and um they put on pet cemetery by uh mm. stephen king stephen wrote king. the book yeah. and that i don't know <laughs> that movie just like really scared me mm. and then there was this movie called Mothman Prophecy. I've heard of Mothman. Yeah, and there's a scene where, so the monster in it, which I guess might be the Mothman, I'm not sure, but the monster in it can't go into light. And there's a scene that's always like stuck with me where um, the one of the characters in the movie's like movie gets away and is sitting in a bathtub with the light on in the bathroom. And then it like, they're just sitting in there like kind of like holding their legs and like, you know, like, yeah rocking back and forth like because they're scared and it like zooms out and the monster is just like hovering above the doorway like oh, waiting for the light to go out light to go out or for the kid to i think it was a kid to come out and like that scene i can't i can never forget that scene and that movie really scared me i was at a halloween party hmm. it's freaking halloween parties yeah freaking halloween parties <laughs> you watched a movie at a halloween party how old are you um i i think i was like early teens Oh, okay. They just so like that's, had, that's why you would do that. They had it on. They had oh, it on. Okay. It wasn't like, but they yeah they had it on and then I think at the one where I watched Pet Cemetery was the first time I played Spin the Bottle. Ooh, at that. Then. Yeah. Mm. Um, did you watch the new Pet Cemetery? Because I know they came out. With no, one. no, I probably won't. I don't like. Scary I don't movies. think it got the best reviews. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty big. Uh, stickler, I guess you'd say for uh, looking at. Reviews. I guess you'd like, say. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, I look at Rotten Tomato a lot. Yeah. And F the critics. I don't care what they say. It's all about the audience. Score. So which one Which one represents the audience? Which one represents the critics? The one on the right. It's the audience. But it literally... The, the popcorn? No. The popcorn? Literally... No. Pop... What? Isn't there like two? Like there's a tomato there's no that popcorn. goes rotten. Pop, there is popcorn for something though. Yeah. Like IMDb? I don't know. I don't know. No. Uh, the critics score is on the left. Audience is on the right. But it literally is labeled underneath. Like, oh, is it? Okay. It's like different tomatoes. Hmm. Maybe there's popcorn involved somewhere in there. Or something I think like there might be. Before it gets like certified fresh. Well, I think the tomato is the critics and then the mm -hmm. popcorn. Are you sure? Maybe. I think the tomato is the critics and then if it's rotten, Maybe you're it's right. under 60%. And then there's a popcorn, which is the audience. You might be right. I oh, think... you are right. Yeah. Because then it's like a gross tipped over popcorn bucket of uh -huh. mush. If yeah. It's that. Yeah. Okay, that all makes sense. I, I actually never knew that it differentiated. I, I just saw the two percentages and I've... 
Mm-hmm. Never really yeah. looked into it. No, the audience score. Pay attention to the audience score. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. I watched a movie based off of a critic score one time. It's like a 97. It was one of the most boring movies ever. Mm. And it turned out to be like three and a half hours long. And so like two hours. What movie was that? I don't remember the name. Um, sorry if you watched it and you liked it. Do you remember it who was, was in it? Andrew Garfield. Oh my gosh. And... I know. Silent or something? Yeah, yeah. They were, they were like priests, I, right? I couldn't finish that movie. Yeah. Well, I was like, okay, this had such good reviews. It must get better. And Andrew Garfield was in it. Adam Driver. Adam was Driver. In it. That's and the like, guy. I could, I, like I could, I understand like why critics would say it's a good movie. Yeah. Like, because the acting is good, but I mean, it felt like it was ten hours long, and I only got halfway through the movie. <laughs> yeah, I was watching it, and I was, it got to a point where I was like, oh my gosh, it's just like so slow. When's this? Like, how much longer do I have? I'm thinking I only had like twenty minutes, and I had like an hour and a half left. I just shut it off, and I, I never too. shut off a movie. I do sometimes. Very rarely. I, I do sometimes, like, at the beginning of it. If I'm, if it's like I'm really weird with horrible movies. in the beginning, in the first ten minutes, and I'm like, alright, I'll shut it off. Yeah. But that's only when it's, like, a movie where I'm like, okay, I know this is supposed to be bad, but I'm going to try watching it anyways, just mm-hmm. because I don't really care. But if it's that bad, then I will shut it off. Yeah. Yeah. What's, like, your favorite... Do you like horror genre? No. Okay. No, uh, I like I like scary movies, I guess, but I don't like horror, like, slasher ones. No, no, not like slasher, that. but, like... What's your favorite scary movie? I haven't watched a scary movie in a while. Uh, you or know, scary... Babadook was good. Babadook was oh, good. Jeez, I never saw it. I, I remember really liking movies. The Ring when it first came out. I thought mm-hmm. that was a good one. I thought that was actually kind of freaky. That was good. Um, I don't know if it's called Because You Were Home or Neighbors or something like that. I think it's called Because You Were Home. <laughs> Neighbors is with Seth Rogen and Zac Efron. <laughs> yeah, so that's not scary. That's uh, funny. So that's not it. I think it's like because you were home or strangers. It's strangers. Strangers. And okay. yeah, it's based oh, off a true story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one was like not bad, just because the acting was decent because it had uh, Liv Tyler in it. Mm-hmm. So that was all right too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm pretty particular. A lot of them suck their acting wise and stuff and the plot, so I don't watch them a lot of the time. But uh, those were decent ones. Has there sure. has there ever been anything like scary that's ever happened to you? Probably what we discussed on. One of the Halloween podcasts we did. The, uh, I don't like remember what it even was. Sleep paralysis. Yeah, the sleep paralysis thing I experienced one time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one time I was watching a, a scary movie. Oh, it like a... It was one with uh, Jim Carrey. It's like room number 23 or something like okay. that. Or 23 is what it's called. Something think, like that. Yeah, I think so. And there's a scene where something is like coming out of a printer. And it's like... Uh, it's not like a monster in it. I think it was like a sweater or something, but it was like weird. It was supposed to be kind of like a weird, creepy, disturbing scene, image. And right when that's coming out, I I was at, like, I wasn't at my house. It was like a friend's house. And from under the TV came crawling this like massive bug. I don't know if it was a giant roach or what it was, but at the same time, while wow, the thing is printing out. So that scared me. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Anyways, that's all. Yeah. That's all I had to say. <laughs> that is like, that is pretty weird. I don't know, what are some of the... You could hear, when I swirl the glass, you can hear the bottle cap. And the, oh, I forgot the bottle cap was yeah. in there. Maybe it's working to my advantage, kind of like um, an aerator for wine. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, so hey. The bottle cap, it's been waxed, and it's well, that's been why part of the bottle for if a while. You weren't, if, you weren't, uh, if you're just listening, you're not watching on YouTube right now, um, we said this is wax dipped, and so I, when I cracked it open, I cracked open like most of the wax, but there's still about just under a quarter of the wax still attached to the bottle. And it just looked kind of cool, and it was it was holding on to the bottle cap, so I decided to leave it. And when I poured it, it just dropped right in. Hmm. And now it's aerating my beer. Nice, dude. Yeah. Any uh, what do you what do you pick? Anything different now that it's opened up a little bit? I will say it's um not that much different. I'm getting. I would say I'm actually getting more honey. I'm getting less it's bourbon, some, like sweetness from like honey. Yeah, I'm getting less bourbon. On it, but let me take another sip. On the nose, it's still crazy bourbon. Once again, we're drinking uh, an amazing beer, amazing imperial stout from Urban Roots, a uh, barrel aged imperial stout coming in at twelve point eight percent ABV. Um, this one is an imperial stout brewed with honey aged in bourbon barrels. Uh, it was also infused with an enormous. I remember reading this, so and, and I quote: um, "Infused with an enormous amount of flaked coconut and whole vanilla beans, and aged. It was aged for fifteen months, people." 15 months, and that shows. Like, this, the quality of this is incredible. The bourbon notes on this are amazing, and the nose and the palate. 
This is a super good beer. Mm -hmm. Well done, Urban Roots. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. This is called Demon Demons Run. I think it's plural. No, just yeah, Demons Run Vanilla Coconut. Yeah, so good, mm -hmm. so good. So you're not getting much different. Um, I, mean, I was just, no, I was gonna say the it's, same old greatness <laughs> yeah. as before. I was gonna say I agree. I'm, it's mostly it's a lot of honey and chocolate flavor mm. for me. Um, I do like that the honey is in there now. A little bit less coconut, a little less bourbon. Definitely not as carbonated as it was in the beginning, but um, really good. Yeah, this is really, really good. Really freaking good. Um, we're going to close this one out. Um, thanks, as always, for hanging out with us and joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed a really good beer while you were listening. We always encourage that. Mm -hmm. um, give us a follow. Except actually. if you're driving. Yeah, cause unless you're driving. <laughs> Hashtag road soda. <laughs> um, but thanks for hanging out with Isn't us. That kind of encouraging it. No, I'm just saying like that's what it's called. But don't oh, do it. Yeah, no, hashtag no. rogue soda. Yeah, rogue, but if you're at home, soda. come on, crack, crack one open. Yeah, please. Um, yeah, if you would be oh. so kind, give us a follow. Um, Original Brew Collective on Instagram and Facebook, and then Twitter is at Brew Original. And then Ben actually has his own Instagram account. He's kind of a local celebrity. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> really. Um, Benjamin underscore OBC. And then if you want to give uh, me a follow as well, that'd be great. Robert underscore OBC. I'm not a celebrity at all in yes. any way, shape, or form. Um, but yeah, we'd appreciate that. And honestly, even more than that, we'd appreciate your feedback or just to hear from you in general. Um, so if you want to give us a review, a comment, a like, um, or message us. Um, slide into our DMs. Um, we will answer. We will. It'd be great. Um, that'd be awesome. But we're going to close this one out. So cheers to you, our listeners, our friends, our beer pals. And then um, also cheers to the runners of the world, since we're drink drinking Demons Run. Yeah. And just everyone who runs and who has the courage to wake up every day. Usain Bolt. And run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to list off one. <laughs> you're so fast. Do you know any other runners? <laughs> you're so <laughs> fast. I honestly don't. If you're listening, you're saying, you're fast. <laughs> How do you do it? How do you run so fast? I don't know. I literally don't know any other runner. Do you? No. I don't know any. I mean, I'm, no. there are a I lot. I mean, you don't see people running around usually wearing like runner's jerseys like you would like <laughs> Like a, no, like but a there's so many jersey. people in the Olympics. Like that's true. Yeah, I don't know. But well, cheers to runners and Usain. Is it Usain? Usain Bolt. Yeah, thanks Usain for <laughs> just inspiring everyone. Honestly, and just to runners alike who have the courage to get up and run when us folk don't. I'm just drinking beer on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for doing your part. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers.